young men of color as a whole, you're told that, oh, you're gonna be a great athlete, oh, you're gonna be a great artist or a great rapper, but no one ever really aspires to be a great technician or a great engineer. And if you're not exposed to something, how can you aspire to be a part of it? We want to do the same thing for our young people that another program was able to do for us by supporting us to go to college 15 years ago for the express purpose of creating a lifelong network for social change. That actually gave way to this program. The Hidden Genius Project trains and mentors black male youth in technology creation, and entrepreneurship, and leadership skills to transform their lives and communities. We have a 15-month intensive program where they're going to spend about 800 hours with us. So if we're going to be spending that much time together, we need to know why. With technology creation, we learn a whole bunch of different languages, Ruby and Python, and with that, we build apps. Leadership skills, we learn what it is to deal with social contracts and how to change them. Entrepreneurship, we learn about pitching, using an app to make a business. There's a misconception about Silicon Valley. Well, look, tech is wherever you're at. As long as you have the skills in a computer, you begin to build and change the world. You can do this great work, this genius work, here in this community that often gets overlooked for any number of reasons. We don't have to go to San Francisco or to Mountain View to create value. We can do it right here in East Oakland, right in the heart. We have children that come from all sorts of social, economic, and educational backgrounds. Each of them is extremely valuable. Their background and their experiences to date aren't always the best predictor of what it is that they have to offer. We don't care if the kid has ever had any type of entrepreneurship or coding experience. Each different background learns from another. The relationship between the mentors and students grows really quick. We can just talk about coding or we can talk about life. This is the first program that I've known about that really works with young people for a long period of time. We really work with them in a holistic approach. Oh. Oh. That's called an epiphany. We talk to them about their own personal well-being. After 15 months together, we start talking about each other just like brothers would actually do. And it's definitely more a community than it is a workplace or a classroom. You're not really going to master all the languages. You're going to know some of that languages. By knowing some of the languages, you're going to have to fish to finish the projects or fish to find out other information. One big thing we've preached around here this summer is if I fish for you, you'll eat for today. But if I teach you how to fish, you'll eat for a lifetime. So now everybody's like, oh, I'm fishing. I'm fishing. We're like, good, because you're going to eat forever. Silicon Valley and different technology corridors are definitely leaving money on the table by not viewing underrepresented populations as key contributors to the development of technology. Anytime there's a field where you're not represented, in turn, that field will not represent you. You don't get products made for black people, and people complain about it a lot, but how can you expect something to be made for you if you're not making it? That's what computer science is all about, is being able to learn steps and techniques for solving problems. We want to help the community, so they're thinking about apps that they can create that's going to be beneficial or transform their communities. My app is designed to help people who don't have health insurance get money to pay for their medical bills. It's called Hire. It'll be a database for people who were recently released from prison who find jobs who are willing to hire them. We always say that maybe everyone won't like coding or won't like building software, but everyone should have the opportunity to try. My goal is to become a surgeon. But you know, you always gotta have a backup plan. So my backup plan is technology. Just this experience that helps you grow as a person, not even as just a software engineer or an entrepreneur or as a leader of a community, but just as a well-rounded individual. They have this opportunity now with these skills to earn a living for themselves and support a better construction, a better quality of life for their community uh, because who knows what they might come together and create.